There we go. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm back. Uh, I have returned from, from hiding away in Yorkshire. Um, and I'm back. And also, Richard and I rang each other up before we uh, went live this morning and decided to wear blue shirts today. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. Yes. Richard yes, just doesn't indeed. know what well, to say now. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, it, it's, I normally attribute this to the supporting of a particular football club, but I was struggling to think of one I wanted to associate myself with. No, no, I, I, no. What can I, you do? It could be a tribute to our lay readers. It could be, yes. They they were done the other week. Uh, yes, Dean was done the other week, wasn't he? Oh, Richard's gone static for a minute, so I'll just amble on, and hopefully he'll catch up with us in a minute. He was thinking about football and lay readers. Oh, there he is. He's back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> um, yes, obviously it was traumatic. Uh, no, so I, I always have this this bit where I freeze at the at the beginning of of these zooms and. Uh, Hopefully it'll be okay from now it's on. Like, it's like some sort of digital blockage that you have to clear, isn't it? It's quite amusing. It, it's a strange. Anyway. I mean, it's better than last uh, Monday's morning prayer, which took me over two hours to upload because oh, my no. upload speed had virtually gone to... The, it was well below one. Uh, here, this is so not good. This is it's not, not good. It's not. Oh, um, dear, oh, dear. And we, um, yes. And we we announced whilst I was away, but did we announce yesterday um, that we have a new colleague coming to us for uh, in Alfchurch? Uh, not uh, yes, Alfchurch and Bailey. It is Alfchurch and Bailey. It's it's Gale Rogers. It's very conf very confusing, um, and we have to work how to deal with this because we've we've got Gale Rogers who is GR, we've got Gale Stone, key person at St Stephen's GS. And then Gail T, mm. key person at Tardy Big, is GT. Yes. Well, it is just a continuing thing in the policy of name conservation. Mm. Because if you recall, because uh, of course we had Paul, Paul Irving. So before we had a conversa conservation of Pauls. Um, so you could be killed in the rush of Pauls at one point. And then, um, and then, and Dix and Richards, we had a lot of them for a while. So we, do, we don't like to use too many first names up. That's basically how it works. I think we now have the claim to fame as the windiest area of the diocese. <laughs> That's bad. That's bad. And don't confuse me. My spelling is bad enough as it is. It's going to get worse, folks. It's going to get worse. Um, anyway. Now we've been <laughs> December the 8th. Uh, yes. For those of you who don't know, uh, Gail Rogers will be with us, which is, I'm looking forward to that. Um, Indeed. So we license her at some place and time to be determined. Uh, on uh, the eighth and the eighth of December, which is a Wednesday, I think. It 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 is a Wednesday. Uh, they sang the the message said seven o'clock, but it, as you say, it didn't specify a venue. No, no, it, it will as I say, date and time to be arranged. Um, and unfortunately, that falls to me to, to do some of the arranging of that. So you'll probably find out about two minutes before. Um, I like to keep everybody in their taste. If we go, um, if we go equal distance into an ancient place, we could end up in the ruins of the old bishop's palace in a field outside Old Church. We could, not on the eighth of December. We couldn't. That public <laughs> service it could be. Could be. <laughs> anyway, yes, it could be quite amusing. Anyway, <laughs> or, anyway, let us let us do morning prayer. Uh, we are thinking about Vincent de Paul, who was the founder of Congregation of Mission in sixteen sixty. Um, Vincent de Paul is often thought of, um, you bump into his name quite a lot around um, Catholic, in Catholic circles, don't you? It's a sort of men's activism um, part of their, their, their discipleship and work, isn't it? Um, so, so you get the Society of Vincent de Paul, they do a lot of work with the homeless, it's that sort of thing. It's really, they're good, they're good, good. Um, uh, we're going to be um, reading from Psalm 71 and... Um, if you want the alternative reading to Maccabees, which is uh, coming up in the app, then you've got two Chronicles 9, 1 to 12. Um, we're going to be reading from Mark 14, 1 to 11. Right. So let's take a moment to distill our hearts as we come before God this morning, as we acknowledge his presence with us. So, O oh Lord, open our lips. And our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all. To you be praise and glory forever. 
as your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this new day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Brings us to Psalm 71. In you, O Lord, do I seek refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me and set me free. Incline your ear to me and save me. Be for me a stronghold to which I may ever resort. Send out to save me, for you are my rock and my fortress. Deliver me, my God, from the hand of the wicked, from the grasp of the evildoer and the oppressor. For you are my hope, O Lord God, my confidence even from my youth. Upon you have I leaned from my birth when you drew me from my mother's womb. My praise shall be always of you. I have become a portent to many, but you are my refuge and my strength. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Do not cast me away in the time of old age. Forsake me not when my strength fails. For my enemies are talking against me. And those who lie in wait for my life take counsel together. They say, God has forsaken him. Pursue him and take him, because there is none to deliver him. O oh God, be not far from me. Come quickly to help me, O oh my God. Let those who are against me be put to shame and disgrace. Let those who seek to do me evil be covered with scorn and reproach. But as for me, I will hope continually and will praise you more and more. My mouth shall tell of your righteousness and salvation all the day long, for I know no end of the telling. I will begin with the mighty works of the Lord God. I will recall your righteousness, yours alone. O God, you have taught me since I was young, and to this day I tell of your wonderful works. Forsake me not, O God, when I am old, and grey-headed, till I make known your deeds to the next generation and your power to all that are to come. Your righteousness, O God, reaches to the heavens in the great things you have done. Who is like you, O God? What troubles and adversities you have shown me, and yet you will turn and refresh me and bring me from the deep of the earth again. Increase my honour. Turn again and comfort me. Therefore will I praise you upon the harp for your faithfulness, O my God. I will sing to you with the lyre, O Holy One of Israel. My lips will sing out as I play to you, and so will my soul, which you have redeemed. My tongue also will tell of your righteousness all the day long, that they shall be shamed and disgraced who sought to do me evil. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. Mark chapter 14, beginning at the first verse. It was two days before the Passover and the festival of an unleavened bread. The chief priests and the scribes were looking for a way to arrest Jesus by stealth and kill him. For they said, not during the festival, although it may be a riot among the people. While he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at table, a woman came with an alabaster jar of very costly ointment of nard, and she broke open the jar and poured the ointment on his head. But some were there who said to one another in anger, why was the ointment wasted in this way? 
but this ointment could have been sold for more than 300 denarii and the money given to the poor. And they scolded her. But Jesus said, let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has performed a good service for me. For you always have the poor with you and you can show kindness to them whenever you wish, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anointed my body beforehand for its burial. Truly, I tell you, wherever the good news is proclaimed in the whole world, what she has done will be told in remembrance of her. Then Judas Iscariot, who was one of the twelve, went to the chief priests in order to betray them. When they heard it, they were greatly pleased and promised to give him money. So he began to look for an opportunity to betray him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Amen. They who wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as an eagle. Lord, as we come to you this morning, Help us to, to look to the abundance of your mercy, the abundance of your power and generosity. Lord, in times when we spend so much time worrying about uh, the lack of resources, Lord, help us to look to you, the one who supplies all our needs. Our Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord um, the current negotiations in Germany as they look to form a new government after a very split re uh, election. We recognise that uh, those people of influence in Germany have a great deal of influence on what happens in Europe and um, around the world. We pray that the Lord will um, lead and guide the outcomes of the Labour Party conference uh, and remembering that uh, great significant stretches of, of, of the nation are governed by um, Labour Party councils and uh, that Labour MPs that do have quite a lot of influence in the House of Commons, not just in opposition, but in committees and in other ways. We bring before the Lord the um, ongoing challenge of combating climate change and all the behind the scenes negotiations 
that will be taking place in relation to COP26. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Lord, perhaps even in the midst of the current challenges we're facing in this nation, help us to see how the actions of one nation affects another, how to see how we're interconnected. Lord, help us to not in that uh, descend into selfishness, but uh, an openness to what you have as we work as your body across this, this planet, across this nation. Oh Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. We bring before the Lord the way that uh, the media portrays who we are, what mm. we're doing, mm. uh, the way in which the media choose particular stories to follow uh, and uh, overlook others mm. by accident or design. And we pray that those in the media will not just be looking for ratings, but will be seeking to guide us down a positive path. It's always tempting to try and find a place where we can project ourselves without responsibility or to seek to manipulate people for the sake of profit or politics. We pray, Lord Jesus, that you'll grant us grace to have um, media that do indeed guide us into things that are beyond speculation and are actually true, so that we can have a balanced view of the situation. We recognise how hard that is when we as limited human beings don't always fully understand what's going on. We pray you'll give us that understanding and that you'll guide us in the ways of truth. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, hear our prayer. Lord, we, as we pray for your church today, we do give thanks that um, Gail will be joining us in um, in Redditch and into Alf Church. We thank you for her and we pray for her and her family as they prepare to come to join us and as they move from their current uh, place in Bourneville. Well, we pray for your church um, in action in ministry and also we pray for with our diocese um parts of the church that support us in our ministry through helping us to maintain and uphold the buildings that are part of the church a resource for it and um, a, a means of uh, making us visible and present making you visible and present lord and so we do pray for the the dac the diocese and um, advisory committee on church buildings and um, and the buildings team who help with um, finance uh, obtaining finance from grants and also advice on how to go about projects so lord we thank you for them pray for uh, mark carter for kate andrew for pat evermy and for all the work that they do uh, in supporting us especially as we're trying to reopen churches uh, in fully uh, following um, the last 18 months or more and and how we reimagine our church buildings how we can use them more creatively as we emerge from the pandemic and I also pray for all the many volunteers who help the uh, diocese and advisory committee for the care of church buildings for the the specialists that help in different areas of our life heating and lighting um, organ consultants and so on so lord we pray for them that they may have your heart for uh, the buildings and the um, and what's involved in them. Oh Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And further afield, we're praying for the Diocese of Southwest Florida today. Um, uh, perhaps a place where, under normal circumstances, many folk would be off on holiday. Um, pray for them and for that um, part of the world that is is beautiful, uh, but also uh, can be storm ravaged from time to time. So, Lord, we pray for Bishop Danby Smith, 
so so dad dadney dabney dabney smith and lord we pray for them that they the bishop may bishop dabney may know your grace and your mercy and may work in that uh, mixed area of different uh, parts of the, the their economy of of uh quite a, uh, an interesting part of the world in terms of how it works so lord be with them bless them and keep them um lord in your mercy hear our prayer remember those people close to home who are struggling uh, with life at the moment we pray that the lord will bring peace to the afflicted to bring rest into the souls of those who can't find that rest and who struggle with issues we pray that the lord will help us to cast our cares on him and to leave them there mm. and we pray that the lord will help us when we pray to genuinely trust the lord to deal with the situation in the best way possible not to keep on worrying about it as if prayer, the prayer achieved nothing. We lift before the Lord uh, those who have had unhappy diagnoses recently. Mm. We pray that the Lord will be their peace and their strength and consolation. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, hear our prayer. We do pray for those who grieve. Lord, we pray that we, as your church, may walk alongside those who are in the midst of sorrow and loss, as we walk alongside those in the midst of joy and celebration. Lord, help us to, to know when to keep silence and simply be. Help us to know when to, to offer words of comfort. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. So merciful God, whose servant Vincent de Paul, by his ministry of pe preaching and pastoral care, brought your love to the sick and the poor. Give to all your people a heart of compassion, that by word and action they may serve you in serving others in their need. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Richard. You're being bathed in all sorts of sunlight this morning. Yes, yes it's just poking between the trees and the houses. I'm trying to sort of shift my position and try and get out of the glare, but <laughs> I haven't succeeded yet. No. There you go. No. Many months ago, I moved my entire office round for that very purpose of just squinting into the sun most of the day. Um, oh, there you go. I better let you get off and sort your phone out. <laughs> everybody loves me this morning. Um, but no, um, the Lord bless everybody this morning. I'm sure he will. And we'll have a really good time. And uh, there we go. I'm just I mean, enjoying the tour of your house. <laughs> it's like, it's like through the like through the keyhole there he goes he's disappeared now anyway it's good to be with you all this morning and thank you for joining us Hello. it's been a, a real pleasure to uh, be serving um, with you again and um to be with you again thank you for those that have joined us live and we hope to catch up with you during the week uh, so god bless see you soon <laughs>